Okay. Yeah, Debbie said she can watch him all day, so I can go to Tom Margo's with you. I would really appreciate that. Um, do you need anything else? Do you need food to take these with? I can make you something. No, 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 no. Well, there's one thing you could do. I don't know if you could can do it, but it would mean a lot to me. Yeah, sure. Could anything. you please not treat me like an invalid? Just a little while. Maybe, you know, treat me like I'm your guy or something. We could talk about Jacob or the weather, baseball, anything except me being sick. Okay, um, I could tell you about my friend Nancy. Tell me about her. Hmm? How was your friend Nancy with you? Well, she was a little older than me. Uh -huh. But it didn't really feel like that when we were together. Mostly she would just listen to me blab on and on and on about pretty much everything in my life. <laughs> so wait a minute, Graham would give you advice? Well, only if I asked. Mostly she just listened. She heard me like no one else ever has. This is for you. Oh, Nancy, you didn't have to get me anything. Not even the secret to staying married. I Beautiful. wore those for my wedding. That's the first thing Chris took off. Oh, wow. Now do you know the secret? Um, to treat every day like it's precious, like these pearls? No, dear. Whenever Jack is angry with you, climb into bed with the pearls on and nothing else. Who's gonna listen to me like that now? I'd like to give it a try. You gotta believe that I'm gonna be around for a long time. I am going to get well. If you believed that, you would tell your parents. Look, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna find a way to tell them soon. Nancy would want you to do it now. She wouldn't want you to hide it. She would want you to hold on to your family when you need them. You know she would. No, I've lost Brad, and now I've lost Nancy, and both of them happened so fast. So fast. I can't handle it. I can't handle the thought of losing you, too. why I tried so hard not to tell you, Katie, because I, I didn't want to scare you. I know, but I'm glad you did. I mean, yeah, I'm scared to death. Part of me just wants to crawl under the covers and hope that when I wake up, it's just all gone. Well, do you have my permission? Back up. Tuck you and myself. No. I want to help you. Well, then if you mean that, you'll help me get through this day. You will help me be strong with my family. And then tomorrow, I'll tell them. That's a promise. Okay? Hey, maybe that's Lisa now. Oh, it's you. Yeah. Morning. Hey, good Sorry, morning. we're late. Hey. No problem. Hi, darling. Hey. The whole family's here, or will be shortly. Do you guys want to finish what you started? Started? Yes. You know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. Well, the last time we were all together, you and Katie were going to make a big announcement, and then your father came in with the news about Grandma. Well, we could use some good news. Yes. Hey, we're back. Hey. hey, Mom, I was starting to worry about you. Honey, you don't have to worry about me. Your friend called me out of the doldrums. Hey, what's going on? Well, I, I know how everyone else feels. My heart feels like it's breaking, too. So Casey had this idea. Uh, Grandma actually uh, had the idea. Uh, Will someone spit it out? Um, instead of sitting around feeling sad that Nancy's gone. We decided to do what she would do if she were still here. By helping people the way she did. Yeah. What, what do you think, Granddad? I think it's an excellent idea. Oh, I do too. Wonderful. Uh, what kind of things are we talking about? Well, I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad we let him have this day. You know, we can deal with my stuff tomorrow or something. Yeah, let's hope. I'll get it. John. Oh, listen, I'm coming. Thank nice. you for coming. I'm sorry about the circumstances, you know? What's he doing here? I gotta stop him for. Chris, are you okay? I've been meaning to get over here. I'm 
tried to call you on the telephone, but I'm on this case, you know, and I'm, I'm working very, very hard. Well, you know how that is. I'm sure it must have come as a shock to you, you know? Listen, I, I may not always show it, but I have a great fondness for the two of you and for your family, of course. And I want to promise you that I will do the absolute best that I can. Well, really not much we can do now, except remember a, a life well lived. A life well lived? <laughs> it's a pretty damn cold thing to say, don't you think? I just think it's a rather cavalier way to hey, think. Hey, John, I wasn't sure you got my message. Oh, you left me one? Yes, about my gram passing away. It happened so suddenly we haven't had time to think about anything else. Oh, uh, I wasn't aware of that. I, I'm... My apologies, I'm sorry I didn't know that. She was a great woman, your mother. Uh, and I'm sorry for your loss. Well, really, for our loss. Yeah. Hey, let me get you a drink. Yeah. I'll get it. Uh, listen, I haven't had time to talk to my family. Obviously, huh? Shake my hand. Oh, come on. Yeah, your pulse is racing. Uh, Look, if you don't want to cause this family another funeral, I suggest you get yourself in the hospital right away. John Dixon. <laughs> Hello. I didn't know you had Hello. a soft spot in your heart for Nancy Hughes or anyone. <laughs> it's a well-kept secret. Oh, yeah. Well, you haven't changed a bit. Well, I appreciate flattery. Yeah. You're so full of bull. Well, nobody knows that better than you. Yeah, with that I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm here uh, called in on the cardiac case. Ooh, well, then it must be serious. It's uh, life and death. Okay, uh, everyone, grab your partner and go do your volunteer work to honor Graham. I mean, we'll meet in Old Town in two hours. Is that cool? <sighs> What's the last time I was in this room? Oh, honey, that's why I didn't want you to come today. No, it's all right. Got a lot of very good memories from here. You know, son, if, if this is too upsetting for you to take care of Grandma's stuff, why... We can do it some other time. Yeah, your dad's right. Why don't I just come back and do this myself? No, 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 no. I, I want to do this. I want to do it today. It's our good work, right? Packing up Graham's stuff, deciding what goes where. So. Well, we really, really do appreciate your help. And Dr. Hughes, you and I have a mission possible ourselves. So let's go on our way. Okay. All right, darling. We'll Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. See you later. Okay, you've kept them in the dark long enough. I'm taking you no, home. No, 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 listen. What are we gonna do? Have my mom come back here, find everything as it was? You don't think that would make her suspicious? We can't. This is crazy. You are getting sicker by the minute. Listen to me. This is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna pack a few boxes and then we'll go. Okay? Okay? I'll tell you, it'll go a lot faster if you help me. Flirt. I'm not flirting. Flirting would be gonna go a lot faster if you kiss me. Just kiss me.